We begin with breaking news. Federal prosecutors unsealing the indictment against former President Donald Trump, facing 37 counts for his handling of classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago estate, becoming the first former president to ever face federal charges. Now, this indictment alleges the former president willfully held on to national defense information and purposely obstructed the investigation into the documents. It also names a former Trump aide who's facing charges. This comes as the former president sees a new shakeup in his legal team and the special counsel behind the Mar-a-Lago investigation speaking out. ABC's Justin Finch with the latest. The Justice Department laying out its argument against former President Donald Trump and his aide Walt Nauta in a 49-page indictment. And I invite everyone to read it in full, to understand the scope and the gravity of the crimes charged. The charges, 37 criminal counts in total, including 31 counts of willful retention of national defense information, one count of conspiracy to obstruct justice, and one count of scheme to conceal. The indictment stems from the grand jury probe into Trump's alleged mishandling of classified documents and efforts to hamper their return to the government in accordance with the law. The unsealed indictment includes images of places where Trump kept classified documents, including a bathroom and bedrooms. The dispute resulting in an FBI search of Trump's Mar-a-Lago home last year. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. In New Jersey, the first new images of the former president seen golfing at his private club hours after his federal indictment in the special counsel records investigation. And on his social media platform, Trump defending his aide, Walt Nauta, who is also being indicted. Trump accusing the Justice Department of trying to destroy Nauta's life and also insisting he's done nothing wrong. I'm innocent and we will prove that very, very soundly and hopefully very quickly. Trump has been ordered to appear for arraignment Tuesday in a Miami federal court where Trump appointed district judge Eileen Cannon is assigned to preside at least for now. The former president also announcing on social media that his defense lawyers Jim Trustee and John Raleigh are exiting his legal team. In a statement, the attorneys calling this a logical moment for us to step aside. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.